bless this Christmas tree and may we be as vigilant as we await your return. This we ask in the name of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Grace. Thank you, Ren, for helping. And thank you for Liam and for Evelyn. And you can go back with your mom and dad, and you can please be seated. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Today is Christmas Eve in which we recall the hope we have in Christ. Today we light again the candles of hope, peace, joy, and love. The lighting of the first candle. We speak of hope because God keeps his promises to us. We light the second candle. We work for peace because Jesus is the Prince of Peace, and he calls his children to work for peace in his name. We light the third candle. We share joy because the Holy Spirit fills our hearts and minds with the presence of God. We light the fourth candle. We show love because Jesus gave everything for us and led us to know the forgiveness of God. The Christ candle. Now we light our last candle to remember the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As the prophets promised so long ago, you have come to us once again, and with the shepherds we are filled with wonder and amazement. Let us pray. Lord, you came into this world as a tiny, fragile baby, yet we know that you are God and that you are with us tonight. May the flame of this candle remind us that you are the light of the world and that if we follow you, we will never walk in darkness, but will have the true light of life. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Amen. As the light comes to you, I ask that you share.
share with one another the light of Christ.
In midnight silence In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will go unto the altar of God. God our, soul. our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. And now please make an examination of your conscience. And now let us recite together the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. Show us your mercy, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Announce salvation day after day. Tell God's glory among the nations, among all peoples, his marvelous deeds. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to who God is the highest. And peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
We come and welcome him as Lord, our light, the true light of the world. May he bring us to eternal joy in the kingdom of heaven. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Seated, Eric, if you would come and proclaim the word. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwell in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster you have smashed as on the day of Midian. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled royal in blood will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us, upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful from David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Trumpet the Lord God, all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is King. A reading from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself the people as his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord, who said to me, You are my son, today I am your father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when, when 
Cornelius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph too went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For today in the city of David a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in the manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Jesus Christus. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. First of all, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You know, Christmas is a very special time. People pause for a moment in their lives and in their worship people are drawn to offer God praise and thanksgiving. In the beginning of today's Mass, which in the Polish tradition we call Pastetka, which is the Mass of the Shepherds, we hear the story from the Gospel of Luke that first of all, during the census of Quirinius, Joseph who was from the house of David, and Mary was also from the house of David. They traveled to Bethlehem, and Mary brought forth her first son. 
And the angel said, you will call him Jesus. Which means basically Yahweh saves. The second part of tonight's reading is about the shepherds. Who were the shepherds? They had a very important responsibility of keeping and tending their flocks. They were very humble and they did not make a lot of money. But their responsibility was very important. And so, as we read, the angel of the Lord came to these shepherds. You would think that the birth of the Son of God, that the angel and all her majesty and all his majesty would choose to go to Caesar Augustus and proclaim the great news. Why not Quinarius, who was the governor of Syria? Why not King Herod? Why not the high priest in Jerusalem? But it's interesting that God, as we look at Holy Scripture, He looks at those who are humble. He looks for those who have clean hearts to share the message. And they went on after witnessing the birth to go and to share the good news. As the angel said unto you, this day is born a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. You know, before you leave the church, I ask that you come before the crash. Not only do you see Mary and Joseph, the infant, but the shepherds and the animals that were gathered on that first Christmas night. You know, when we come to the crush, we all have thoughts about what took place and hopefully we also come before the crush and offer our own personal prayers. Christmas is many things for many people. I had a dear friend of mine who lost three people this past week over this past year, there are many people who have lost loved ones. And so Christmas may not be joyous as much as it could have been if their loved ones remained. These people who come before the crash come with a hope that next day will be better. That God would hear their prayers. Some people will go before the crash if able and they will offer prayers of peace. You know, we live in a world where there is 
if we look at the newspaper's little piece. I think about the people of Ukraine who in this second year are gathered at Christmas without food, without water, and sharing with their loved ones in bombed out buildings and in basements. We come this evening not only to ask God to hear our prayers, that we hope that the world in which we live may be a little brighter. I think about what is happening in the Middle East. Over 1,800 Jewish men, women, and children were massacred on October 7th. And trying to correct and trying to eliminate an evil, there are over 20,000 Palestinians that are dead. You know, I think about Jesus who came in the innocence I recall that Jesus towards the end of his own life wept over Jerusalem he said only if you knew the peace that I come to you with the Prince of Peace as Isaiah prophet spoke about in chapter 9 verse 6 I hope this night that we pray for one another that we pray for hope that we pray for peace The Advent candle represents the four pillars of Christianity. It serves as the foundation of your faith and of my faith. In the candles of hope, peace, joy, and love. We find the infant represented by the Christ candle at the center of our faith. God chose to come to humble shepherds, not to the arrogant, not to the self-righteous, but those who were righteous within their hearts. I don't know if you read that there is no Christmas in Bethlehem this year. There are no parades. There are, there's no music. There's no celebration. There are no Santa Claus to give out gifts to the young. I read the article about how it was described as a big empty parking lot. Have we come to a time in which we find no peace, but yet pray for peace. And I hope that, and I believe in the power of prayer, that we pray for peace this evening. That we pray for the joy of knowing that Christ came to us to offer us the greatest gift 
And that is to be one with him. I hope this evening that we pray for love. Because love cures all evils. I talked about today at the Mass that I held in Westville. I remember a song that was written back in 1967. Four simple words. All you need is love. Love is the very center of our faith. It is love that is through the good times and bad. As I said to the people in Westfield, that if you have the love of God in your heart and you follow the one who was to bring salvation to his people, that no matter what may come your way, you have the strength to carry on. And so Christmas is many things to many people. I hope and I pray that we remember those less fortunate, that we pray that love may conquer the evil that we see before us. And so Christmas, my brothers and sisters, is more than just a mere thought. It is the very beginning of our own salvation to eternal life. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten God, made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice before the Lord who comes, who comes to govern the earth, to govern the world with justice, and the peoples with faithfulness.
pray this day. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted by God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and for the benefit of His holy church. Amen. Let us pray, Eternal Father, accept our gifts on this joyful feast of our salvation. By our communion with God made man, may we become more like Him who joins our lives to yours. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. You sent us Jesus Christ, who conceived by the Holy Spirit was born of the Virgin Mother Mary, most holy. We have come to know and love you as our perfect Father through the revealed mystery of your incarnate Word. We praise you, Father, and through your Son, now made visible, long to be with you, our unseen God. Therefore, on this, the solemnity of the Nativity, we join with the voices of angels and archangels, along with all the saints in the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son and of the Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son and of the Christ. Please be seated. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices which we offer up to you in the first place. For your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord, in our prayers. Let us remember the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry, the homeless, and the unemployed. Let us pray this evening for peace. May we give God our thanks for the blessings that He has bestowed upon each of us. May we remember in our prayers all abused and neglected children, all abused and neglected animals, and all victims of violence both here and abroad. May we pray for those who serve in our armed forces and pray that God would keep them safe. Let us remember and give God thanks for the blessings of doctors and nurses, first responders, police and fire, as well as all those who work in the EMS. And Father, may we also pray for all here present whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for the hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God, we join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin, Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, also your 
blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who live, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people. Through Christ our Lord, amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept and to confirm this offering and make it pleasing unto yourself so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries, and with spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people at that solemn moment. So sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you God, his Father Almighty, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, and again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and His blessed passion, resurrection, and His glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence, a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant, Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember our brothers and sisters who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us your sinful servants who hope in the greatness of your mercy some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and with all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy and with lives patterned after their divine master merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits but pardoning our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Let us pray 
instructed by our Savior's teaching, uh, and following the mind in example, we say with confidence, And by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter, Paul, also Andrew, and all the saints, grant us peace in our day. Supported by the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not upon my sins, but upon the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world by your holy body and blood. Free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you. Who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. Part May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for our judgment or condemnation. Though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament through your loving kindness, may become our safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master awaken in us living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God, grant us, who lives and reigns with God the Father, in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces that rendered unto me? I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Receive the body and the Lord Christ. Lord, amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless you. 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found the life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness of darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light, the real light which gives light to every man who is coming into the world. He was in the world and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him, he empowered him to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son, coming from the Father, filled with enduring love, Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And let us pray for the repose of the souls of our late departed loved ones. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.